So you're finally starting to see the results of that nutrition plan. Fats burning, definition starting to come in. You've decided that now is the time to get those abs looking fire for summer. Well, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm gonna give you three top ab exercises. And not only that, I'm gonna tell you how to implement them correctly into your routine to make sure that next time you hit the pool, the beach, supermarket, your abs are looking chiseled and defined. Hey guys, my name is Bobby. And if you're new around here, I make videos on fitness and lifestyle, mainly focused on fat loss, on getting lean, on getting shredded. So if that's something that might appeal to you, take a little look around and if you like what you see, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button for more. So when training abs, there are so many exercises that basically serve the same function. There's really no point in doing the same thing over and over again. The way I set up all of my routines where the exercises are interchangeable is with a three-step approach. Firstly, going from bottom up, that's going to work your lower abs. Secondly, you're going to go from the top down. And thirdly, you're gonna do some stability strengthening exercises to finish off and target all of the core muscles. So number one, we're gonna to wanna to start every core workout, every ab workout by hitting the lower abs. And the simplest way to do this is with some leg raises. There's various forms of leg raises that you can do. You can do them simply sitting here on the bench, on the dip station, which is gonna help stabilize your upper body, or the most difficult advanced way is the hanging leg raise. So when performing this exercise, it's super important not to let momentum take over. You wanna be in control of your legs the whole time. Bringing them up to 90 degrees is good, feel that engagement, and then slowly lower them back down. If you allow gravity to take over and you're allowed to just drop your legs, that's gonna disengage the core and it's effectively doing nothing. In terms of rep ranges, only do as many reps as you can perform with good form. However, if you get to a stage where things are too easy, you can introduce a ball. Putting the ball between your knees or your feet is gonna add that extra resistance. I actually think this is the most difficult part of the routine, or should I say it's the easiest part to get wrong, which is why we're gonna do it first. If you try to do these at the end of your workout, fatigue will take over at that point, things will get sloppy. The main issue is it's gonna be a waste of your time. So stick these at the beginning, get three good sets in, and then let's move on to number two. Second part of this routine, guys, is gonna be focusing on the upper abs. And when we're hitting our lower abs, the weight, the resistance, is coming from our legs. We are lifting our legs. There is the resistance. It's a little bit different when we do the upper abs. We need to introduce some resistance and the easiest way to do this is with the cable. Now the cable pull down is something that I've been doing for 15, 20 years and I'm an absolute master of it. It's an absolutely brilliant exercise. Recently I discovered a newer tweak on this which I actually think is easier, possibly more effective and it's gonna be right here. We're gonna use the assisted dip machine we're gonna push down from the top. We're gonna to stabilize the lower body. We're gonna really get over our toes and that's gonna really engage those upper abs. You're not gonna be wanting to go too heavy with the weight. You're gonna to wanna to manage it. You don't want it to be firing back up. Again, control positive, control negative. The most difficult part of the exercise is gonna be at the bottom. As the pad raises back up, we're gonna control the flexion. For this, I usually hit three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Once you're controlling the weight, as long as your form is good, you're gonna really feel those upper abs and more importantly, you're gonna wow. see them. Now, finally, guys, we are gonna go for a core strengthening exercise. This is gonna target all of the core muscles at the same time. Previously, we've tried to isolate the lower and the upper abs to a certain extent. Now we're gonna hit them all at once. Stick way, the one that you've all heard of is the plank. A little problem with the plank, it's just a little bit boring, 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 boring. And although I say that tongue in cheek, it can be very uninviting and very uninspiring to stay there for an extended period of time, maintaining perfect form. Once your mind begins to wander, once your focus starts to waver, so will your form. And that is why I prefer something that's more to the point. I'm gonna suggest as the third exercise in this routine, the renegade row. Set up to this exercise is the same as a plank. You're gonna have two dumbbells. Now, whilst the movement mimics a rowing exercise, the reason this is an incredible core exercise because you're gonna to have to use your core muscles to stabilize your body as you perform the row. As you row the left-hand side, you're gonna engage the right-hand side of your core muscles. They're gonna become hard and rigid because they're gonna be stabilizing your entire body. This one, I would choose a very, very manageable weight, but also something where it feels like you're doing something. You don't wanna be going too light, otherwise you're effectively moving your arm up and down. If you go too heavy, it's gonna to make it too difficult to lift the weight and therefore get the benefit 
of the actual exercise. So again, I would suggest three to four sets. Now I'd keep the reps to about six because the main focus is the time under tension. It's not so much about how many reps we're gonna do, but the amount of time it takes to do them. Six reps on each side should be about a minute of tension and that should really help you to feel the benefits of this exercise. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. Now, this routine, this approach is just one way we can approach hitting the abdominals. Of course, there are more advanced elements we can implement, but if you're just starting to see definition, this is the best place to start. Thank you so much for watching the video. As I say, have a little look around the channel. If you like what you see, please consider hitting the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna keep whacking out content. Let me know what you like, drop a comment down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.